Welcome to Learners Planet my dear children. Children this is session 2 about amazing animals. In the previous session of amazing animals we studied we discussed about the habitat of different animals right and in this session we will continue this lesson and we will discuss about the body coverings of different animals and even the feeding habits of different animals right. So let's start with this session. Yes, body coverings, right? Different types of animals have different body coverings. As you know that all animals have an enclosing layer of skin to protect their tissues and organs from the outside world. Like we protect ourselves by wearing clothes, right? Protecting means protection will be in the form of like sand, dust, soil, pollution and many other things like sun rays right so we also protect ourselves like we protect ourselves animals also need to protect themselves right so there are body coverings which help the animals to survive in their environment in a number of different ways for example vertebrates right vertebrates have a variety of body coverings that help them to survive in their environment right they may help to keep the animal warm body coverings may help to keep the animal warm and even offer protection from predators then the rays the sun rays bacteria and other type of microorganisms right so to protect themselves animals need to have body coverings for some animals like snails their body covering may be hard enough to act as the main support system for for the animals and this type of body covering is very much helpful for the animals right so there are vertebrates and even invertebrates they need need to have a body covering that help them to survive in their environment right so let's discuss about some of the animals having different type of body coverings right different types of body coverings of different animals like scales scales are present in fish snake and lizard shells are the body covering they act as a body covering for sea turtle feathers act as a body covering for kookaburra emu and birds many type of birds then fur act as a body covering for koala kangaroo and possums and skin moist skin also act as a body covering for animal like green tree frog or frog right so these are some of the animals having we are discussing about some of the animals having such type of body covering right now let's discuss about all these body coverings of different animals in detail so we'll first start with the body covering which is scales right so where are these type this type where where is this type of body covering present in which kind of animals it is present yes it is the fish a large species of fish are covered with a layer of flexible overlapping scale like bodies of reptiles also for example snake crocodile and lizard too are covered with scales there are some other examples which we would like to see right most reptiles have horny scales that prevent the water loss from their body so you can just imagine that how can a body covering help helps an animal to survive right like most reptiles which we discussed lizard crocodile snake they have horny scales that prevent water loss from their bodies right so they will be able to survive yes and one amazing thing about snakes is that they also shed their skin periodically which is replaced by a new one right so there will be a new skin covering on the snake which will occur periodically and the dead skin will be gone away right so this is one such body covering which occurs in these type of animals right and that is shell yes animals such as snail tortoise and turtle they are protected by a body covering called as shell when these animals sense danger they withdraw their head and feet into this shell so it acts as a protective layer for them let's see some more let's move on to another slide and know more about this body covering yes turtle shells turtle shells can be very strong like a turtle shell a box turtle shell can support a weight of 200 times greater than the weight of the turtle 
right so you can just imagine that these body coverings are so protective right like we need to have protection for ourselves animals also need to have protection for themselves and you can just see that how can a body covering occur as a great protection for such animal we can say what a beautiful type of adaptation and beautiful type of body covering is occur, uh, occurs in such type of animals let's move on to another body covering yes feathers as you know children that bird's body is covered with feathers down feathers flight feathers right feathers help in flight as you know and they also protect birds from rain and cold right so this is also one such body covering which is almost seen in the birds yes another type of body covering is fur or wool there are some animals such as sheep bear and human beings which are also called as mammals right sheep and bear have special body coverings like wool and fur sheep have wool and bear have fur that protect them from rain and cold so we can just see that there are many such animals like bear is covered with fur crocodile covered with scales bodies of birds are covered with feathers tortoise and snail have a sh shell right and fish has fish and snakes are covered with scales all these are the beautiful body coverings which act as a protection for all such animals right they are very protective they do not hinder movement probably this is what inspired the ancient romans to design their armor like fish scales and this type of armor is known as scale mail in the fishes right the even feathers of some birds are very brightly colored as you must be knowing peacock the national bird of india the national bird of our country has beautiful feathers with metallic shades of bronze blue green and gold color and even beetles have a very hard covering that protects the body and this covering this type of body covering is known as cuticle right even the armel are medillos body is covered with armor like plates that protect it from enemies and because of these armor like plates it, its body is covered with armor like plates it is this animal is termed as armadillo right it protects it from enemies there are other animals like rat who have their body covered with hair then chameleon it has the color changing scales which are very famous they change color to show other animals right to protect themselves from other animals like elephant elephant is very furry and it is the biggest mammal on the land then turtles have shells right they have scales over their hard shells right and even frog they have a slimy skin and even other animals like rabbit they are covered with fur very cute fur then they are cute rabbit and snakes they are covered with the scales cat it is also covered with the soft fur iguana is covered with the scales fish is covered with scales alligator is covered with scales then parrot it is also having feathers right and dove dove also have feathers scorpion have also a very tough covering and dog as you know it is a very furry animal having a furry tail right so these are many such animals having different type of body coverings to protect themselves right so i hope that this topic is clear to you let's move on to another very interesting topic about animals and that is the feeding habits of animals right so as we know that different animals eat different types of food and based on this habit based on their feeding habits animals can be classified into three categories like herbivores carnivores and omnivores right so let's discuss about all these classes in detail right so the first one is the herbivorous animals or they are also considered or they are also called as herbivores now what are these herbivores yes they are those animals that eat only and only plants and they have teeth adapted to chewing plants as we know that they eat only plants so they their teeth have such type of adaptation that they chew the plants and they are big molars as you know this is a part of the teeth molars premolars incisors and canines do you remember 
try to recall yes so their big molars are designed to help them to grind up leaves seeds and twigs of the plant of the tree right and they also eat seed pods grass leaves and vegetables right they do not eat meat and therefore they do not hunt right so you can just imagine that they eat plants they do not eat meat and therefore they are not adapted for such kind of thing that they have to hunt right so always remember that they do not have to hunt for all such things because they get it only from the plants right so instead we can say that they are hunted by the carnivores because their bodies are adapted to suit their way of life and feeding habits right so they have another kind of adaptation and these are some animals which have other type of adaptations you will be very amazed to know that most plant eaters have a very good eyesight with the eyes set at the sides of the head for example we can take cow right they have the eyes set at the sides of the head which gives them a wide field of vision right and that's why they are considered as the considered as the plant eaters having very good eyesight they also have a very good sense of smell like herbivores like kudu rabbits hares locusts sheep etc they are constantly on guard against the danger so all such things all such adaptations make very beautiful animal right they have such so we consider these as the amazing animal right so this was all about herbivores herbivore animal herbivorous animals let's move on to another category of animals yes carnivorous animals or they are also called as carnivores they are those animals that eat only the flesh of other animals like herbivores eat only plants these are the animals that eat only the flesh of other animals and that is why how and which type of adaptation they have which kind of adaptation they have carnivores have strong pointed jaws to snap at their prey and they tear off the chunks of flesh very easily because of this type of adaptation and that is why they are considered as the hunters and can eat and can only eat once they have caught their prey so we can say the largest group of carnivores are mammals which includes the cat family like wild cats lion wild cats lions leopards right tigers domestic cats and wolves foxes domestic dogs right so they are all considered as hunters because they eat they only eat once they have caught their prey right so we can say just carnivores hear and smell well and have such type of adaptation like pointed jaws and strong jaws to snap their prey let's have a look at some more information about carnivores yes mammals that are carnivores have sharp teeth which is adapted for ripping the meat as you can see here in this picture this is one such example of a lion which is a carnivore animal right and we can say that carnivores like lion have powerful jaws that help to bring down the large animals like deer and even carnivores like the wolf also have large powerful jaws that bring down large animals like deer right so you can just see one such example of lion and another example of wolf right and you will be very amazed to know that carnivores are such animals that their eyes are situated in the front of their heads like you can see here they are situated at the front in the front of their heads so they can focus well and they can judge the distance very precisely they also have strong legs that enables them to run very fast and they chase their prey they can run fast for long distances without even getting tired like us right and carnivores are found everywhere on the land in the sea among birds in the insect right so carnivores hunt carnivores are the animals that hunt for their prey and that is why they are considered as a predators right they hunt and eat other animals to survive right so these are some of the examples which we discussed here about carnivores let's move on to another category of animals another beautiful category of animals is 
omnivores yes omnivores animals or omnivores these are the those animals that eat both plants and animals right so this is the main difference between the omnivores and carnivores and herbivores herbivores eat only plants carnivores eat only the flesh and omnivores genius they eat both plants and animals omnivores eat a variety of foods including meat and vegetables like baboons rats cockroaches and human beings all such are examples of omnivores right because these are one such kind of animals that have adapted to eat both plants and animals and you will be amazed to know that they have normally uh, they normally have small ears and eyes which are set in the front of their heads right so you can just imagine yourself only that you have eyes we have ears small uh, ears and eyes which are set in the front of our heads right so we can consider human beings also as omnivores or omnivores right so these are the categories the main categories which we discussed herbivores carnivores and omnivores there are other animals also which which are not considered under these categories or we can say that they are considered but they have other type of adaptation so let's have a look at it yes other animals having different type of feeding habits they do not hunt they do not move uh, they do not hunt for their prey they do not eat plants or they have other type of adaptation to eat plants or to eat the flesh to grab the flesh right so let's discuss about it the first point here of one such animal is snakes snakes swallow their food whole right just imagine that we the human beings have to chew the food we have to chew the food and eat it very finely properly we have to grind it properly but snakes snakes swallow their food whole secondly the mosquitoes which suck suck the blood from the body of human beings and then they survive then birds have beaks and claws to eat their food to have their food then elephants have a long trunk to lift their food and they put into their mouths and other animals like rabbits rats squirrel etc have sharp fronted teeth to gnaw their seeds and fruits so these are some beautiful amazing animals having different kind of feeding habits so you can just see that amazing animals are having different type of feeding habits right now we discussed all such things feeding habits and all such things right but have you ever thought have you ever gave a thought that why is food important to these animals yes it's very simple the animals also have to remain healthy like us yes animals remain healthy they grow and they also get energy to survive and they protect themselves from enemies right so that is why they need to eat food like we need to eat food we need to have energy they also need to have food right so children i hope that you enjoyed this session and learned more about animals we will learn more about animals like other kinds other things which are present in animals other beautiful adaptations right so we'll meet in the next session till then keep learning keep enjoying thank you children